Hey, Bruce, you had such a good red zone offense this season, the first four games. What happened tonight that you only come away with one touchdown and three shots there? No, just pretty poor execution. You know, we got down, we had about a sack, three penalties. Um, you're not going to beat anybody with 12 penalties or however many we had. And uh, especially when we were down there once and had to punting uh, because of about six or seven penalties on one drive. So uh, I didn't have our team ready to play. So it's obvious. Bruce, at the end of the game there, that last drive, it, it looked like Tom might have been confused with what down it was. Did he not know it was fourth down? Yeah, he knew. He knew. All right, next is Ed Encina. Just going back to the penalties, I mean, what? what how can you kind of explain how, how how many there were and just the, the consistency of those in those big, long drives? Oh, uh, yeah, just, just poor coaching. Poor coaching. Do you have any update on, on Vita Vea? Uh, no. No, I do not. Okay, next up is going to be Scott Reynolds. Can you speak to the 16-second the uh, drive, the three play calls um, that, that gave the ball back to the Bears with a lot of time left on the clock? Yeah, we were, you know, they had all their timeouts, so we had to make two first downs. So uh, we'd make a poor play on first down, then we throw two incomplete. So we obviously didn't make a museum of their time, only one of their timeouts, and it was just poor football. And Bruce, can you speak to the, the night that Ronald Jones had running the ball? Rojo's had a good season, and uh, he's going to continue to get better. We'll go to Dan Lucas. Offensive line had a, had a tough time with Khalil Mack tonight. Their pass rush overall, was there too much pressure on Brady tonight compared to what you had in the last game? Yeah, I mean, we, we uh, did a poor job of blocking him a couple of times. And, uh, you know, one was a miscommunication. But, um, no, we, uh, we did not block him very well. Okay, next is going to be Greg Allen. The end of the drive there, I know you had some of the guys you had in terms of Evans, in terms of guys tonight, but how limited were they by injuries? How much were they a factor in, in, that, in that final record where you went with the ball? Uh, none. It's just it's excuses. Uh, everybody in there can play football, so um, just make plays. Bruce, the, the officiating tonight in terms of the, the calls that, that went both ways, I, did you feel like this was well officiated tonight? Uh, no comment. All right, we're going to go to Rick Stroud. Did you feel this is the first time Tristan and some of your tackles were overwhelmed on uh, pass protection, did they? Yes and no. I thought, you know, they had a heck of a pass rush, you know, and uh, we knew we were trying to help them a little bit, but uh, uh, they got to do a better job. And how much will this, uh, this mini break are you needing to get guys healthy? We need to get healthy, that's for sure. We'll, we'll take the break and uh, get back to work for for the next one. But uh, you know, I feel like we, uh, we left this stadium with uh, – a fourth quarter lead and didn't maintain it. All right, we'll close out with Scott Reynolds. Bruce, what was your message to the team after the game? Uh, see who we are next week. Um, this was one game that um, I felt like we got out coached and um, got out played. So we'll find out next week. Evita is out for some time, and it looked like it was an ankle, a serious ankle injury. Uh, what, what does that do for your defense, given how he was playing this year? Oh, it's a big loss, you know. I mean, um, you don't have another Vita, that's for sure. But other guys will step in and step up and play good.